So we're still mid acid attack at Superbooth 2018, yeah. um, and it's only the first day. At least it's not Stranger Things, which seemed to be the theme of setup day. Um, <laughs> but new expert sleeper stuff. Absolutely. Uh, how's it going, Oz? Good, I think. Thank you. Um, so, new module for now is the FH2. Um, the FH2 is a kind of it's a development of what was the FH1 with the benefit of three years of hindsight of people telling me what they actually wished I'd made when I made okay. the FH1. So it's it's still fundamentally a kind of a US a MIDI to CV converter, but rather than being specifically a, uh, a USB host, it's now a USB host. It's also a USB device, which means you can connect it directly to a computer without any kind of plumbing in between. Um, and it also supports five pin DIN MIDI through a breakout. So it speaks all flavors of MIDI you can imagine. And this kind of slight jiggery poker you used to have to do to set it up has been replaced with a screen and a knob and a proper web based configurator. And the slight hoops you had to jump through to get clocks out of it, which is what a lot of people are wanting to use it for, has been replaced with some dedicated clocking functionality. So you just go output seven, clock, quarter notes, go. And Duh. you get it. Um, and yeah. that save, set and forget, that's what your module yeah, does. Yeah, you, you can save multiple configurations, so you can switch from I'm playing a keyboard to I'm playing a, an MP instrument to I'm using lots of clocks just by recalling a configuration um, and changing your device if you need to. So it looks like with a Roly we're going to get, I guess, a lot of expression out of yeah. the uh, fleshy gummy bear Roly interface. Absolutely, so I, what I've got patched in at the moment um, it's just a two-voice uh, MPE patch where pressure is directly going into a VCA um, and pitch obviously is pitch and then up and down I've got into a wavetable on the disting wavetable oscillator. I've got two wavetable oscillators there on the distings. So if I just do one note, do the pitch bend, do the wavetable, kind of do a big And then just play a two note chord. So yeah, it's the it's the full MPE goodness. Um, it'll do the full 15 MIDI channels of 15 touches if you've got a big enough MPE instrument and you've got enough modules you want to patch into a monster poly polyphonic thing. So all the same stuff that used to be on the FH1, polyphonic keyboard support, MPE support, direct faders, and um, I said the clocks are new. Uh, so in and let me show you the web-based configurator briefly and then I'll turn on the clock um, and talk about clocking for a minute. So that's live there. So the configurator runs in a browser um, with, and it uses web MIDI to communicate directly to the module through directly a USB cable straight out of here into the module. Um, and at the moment, if I get what it's currently doing, this is how I've got it set up for the MPE. So it's just basically lots of monophonic converters on different channels. If I want to get a clock out, I find my output. I go to the drop down, select clock, eighth note, say, and then send that over to the FH2. And now if I start the clock, which I'll do in this case by pressing the button, I get a clock coming out of output eight, which is what I asked for. And I've got that over here, just going into the micro step and into the drum doctor. Um, but in terms of clocking, um, it's completely flexible as to what clocks want. This is its internal clock, which I'm just starting and stopping there. You can twiddle the tempo on the knob. Or if I go back to here, uh, go back to live, press start in live. That's sending a MIDI clock now, which has started running the same output as an eighth note clock. Um, or if I, if I start this one, I can have that output MIDI clock back to the laptop. Okay. Or if I've got a, a device plugged in, say the Digitax down here, the same, I can have that su supplying the clock to the module, or I can have this supply the clock to that. And beyond just pressing a button, I can take a clock from somewhere else in the modular and plug it into the FH2. And that will generate the internal clock and the MIDI clock from an external analog clock. 
Okay, so um, yeah. and all sample accurate as with all the expert sleeper stuff. Well, it's not digital audio, so sample accurate isn't really a, a thing, a concept. But it's yeah. all, it's a, it's a very overspecced processor in here. I've, the expert sleeper's way seems to be to release something and then continue to improve it for two or three years. So with that in mind, I've put a processor in there that can handle everything I can think I might throw at it for the next little while. Okay. Lots of space for expansion and more features. Um, I should mention it's expandable as the FH1 was with the FHX1 for a total of 64 CV outs. You can keep <laughs> adding. And I realized on the plane over that um, I can do um, a gate output expander as well. So for less money than that, I can make a expander that will just do clock outs. And I think I can, without breaking a sweat, do 192 clock outputs. <laughs> okay, or wow. Or whatever. It resets any start stop. Exactly. So and any, it's fully configurable in the interface. Any output can be a clock or a start stop trigger or a part of a MIDI to CV conversion or directly controlled from a knob or anything. Um, yeah. So I should ask when's it available? How much will it be? All the stuff that I'll get kind of yeah. people moaning in the comments if I don't ask. Uh, I'm expecting it to be available in early June, um, may even squeak in the end of May, but let's say June. And it says on the piece of paper there, uh, UK 249, US 299, EU 239, but I think that's XVAC, so I don't know what that is. And However it works out. Whatever. So it's around that kind of figure. Brilliant. Just to end on, can we get a bit more of the two note polyphonic expression from the Rolly? Yeah, and I'll say that as well as the distings being wavetable operators, I've got that also going through a ping pong echo and a reverb from two more distings because you can never have enough distings. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming.